I'm going to show you how to turn $60,000 into a portfolio of three rental properties that cash flow around $300 a month each. John from Salt Lake City, Utah. This is your video. Let's dive in. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's going to keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me. And then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. This is the show where you guys tell me what you want, whether you have already found a property and you just want my opinion, you tell me what you want to do with that property, and I will tell you if that is possible. I will either approve or deny your deal. Or you do what my guy John did today. You just tell me what you want. You tell me what you're trying to accomplish in the real estate business here in the Cleveland market. And I will give you unbiased advice and break it down for you and try to show you uh, what we can use, what properties we can use to accomplish your goals. Or at the very least, accomplish something very close to your goals. Not every time you guys reach out to me, you guys don't always reach out to me with goals that are actually possible. But that's you know another bonus to the show, to what I do here. Uh, I show you what is possible, right? If you aren't here, you're not you know in the market doing this every day. You might have expectations that are not exactly realistic to the current market trends. And that's again why you come to me. That's what I do. So that's what my guy John did. My guy John, he's from Salt Lake City, Utah. He has not invested in real estate for a very long time. He tried it one time, and apparently it went pretty sour. He didn't give me too many details on why it didn't work out, but uh, he knows that it went bad, and he knows he's got to change things up here the next time. So that's why he came to me. He wanted to make sure he gets the advice. Now, John has $60,000 to work with, and what he wants to do is get a portfolio here in the Cleveland market Two to three properties, he's aiming to get cash flow, a net cash flow. That's a net cash flow uh, of around 300 bucks or so a month. Now, that is, uh, when I say a net cash flow, that's not just, uh, you know, the mortgage is here, the rents are here, and the stuff in the middle. That's not your net cash flow, guys. Okay, we have to back out expenses. We have some expenses that are fixed, such as taxes or insurance. And then we have variable expenses like uh, repairs, vacancy, tenants not paying rent, all that jazz. So we're going to account for all of that and hope that we can get my guy, John, at least 300 bucks a month clear, you know, that he can bank on having as a somewhat reliable income stream. Now, it is a rental property, so it's not always going to happen the same way every month. There will be ups. There will be downs. Uh, John is interested in B or C neighborhoods. As he already tried investing once and didn't really work out that well, he's not uh, trying to get into anything too, too risky. Um, he is also open to Section 8 because Section 8, in my opinion, is something that can take somewhat risky properties and make them even less risky. So with all that said, John, here is the property that I found for you today. And I am actually really excited about this particular property uh, because there's some things in here that I, I see these types of properties listed on the MLS and I just salivate over them. And because uh, they're just they're nice little hidden gems, right? Five, one, seven, three, Greenhurst Drive, Maple Heights, Ohio, four, four, one, three, seven. Little CB class suburb, right? You know, pretty decent. Uh, it's perfect for what we want to do. This property listed 13 days ago for $60,000, okay? Now, this is why I love these properties, okay? As far as the photos go, First, we have just a very basic picture of the front, and next, we have nothing. We, we don't got shit, right? That's it. 
That's all the listing agent put out there for us. Just one photo, nothing really to go off of. As far as the public remarks, nothing really to go off of here. Newer roof, mechanicals in great shape. That's all we have. Now, the home is rented for $857, okay? So if someone were to purchase this property, three bed, one bath, you get $857 a month in rent or $10,284 a year. Now, if you were to break down the numbers on that, that eight fifty seven dollars a month, $10,284 a year, as far as the expenses we're going to need to factor in, 42 bucks repairs, maintenance, vacancy, and non-payment. CapEx, 42 bucks for all those. Even though the agent said the newer roof um, and mechanicals all in great shape, we got to factor that in because eventually, you know, all roofs, you know, they're typically going to last you like 30 years. Eventually, you're going to have to spend five, six, seven thousand dollars $7,000 replacing that roof. It's a small little bungalow. It's probably only a $5,000 roof, but you got to factor that in, right? So we're going to save 42 bucks, knowing that every 30 years you got to replace that, right? Uh, as far as taxes go, 166 a month. As far as insurance go, you got to have insurance, 80 bucks a month. Uh, John, if you have other rentals or everyone else watching who's got other rentals, John, I know you don't have other rentals. You tried that once. It didn't really work. But anybody out there who's interested uh, in getting a quote to lower their insurance premium for their rental properties, uh, go ahead and click the show notes below. I've got a link to our insurance company, the Hogue Insurance Agency, my associate Kevin. He will get you a quote for a property like this should be about 80 bucks a month. So if you have a property similar to this and you're paying more than that, let us know. We should be able to beat that uh, premium down for you. Uh, back to the numbers, though. Water sewer, estimating that's going to be about 75 bucks a month. Lawn care, nothing. You don't have to pay lawn care. That's that's a, that's a good feature to single-family homes, right, John? You you said you'd be open to duplexes, but you preferred single-family homes, probably because of the vacancy. It's probably lower. Tenancies last longer. You don't have tenants fighting with each other. And another thing is you don't have to deal with the lawn care, right? You put that on the tenant. So that saves you a little bit of money. And then uh, property management, that's going to be 85 a month. So on this property that rents for $857 a month, you should reasonably expect to spend, on average, $532 a month. It's going to leave you with an NOI of $325. Now, what we want to do, John, we want to finance this bad boy, right? So to do that, you're only going to need 15 Gs, right? I'll get a lender to loan you the other $45,000, and that's going to be over 30 years low interest, man. Guys, interest rates are so freaking low right now. I was talking to Tommy. He was looking at the latest interest rates. It's even lower than what I put into uh, the the mortgage calculator on HoltonWise.com. Just so you guys know, if you're trying to run the numbers on these, we have a mortgage calculator for you. So you want to see what the payments are going to be on these particular properties. Go to the tools and resources section of HoltonWise.com. And that particular app that we utilize, it takes like a an average, right? And I think it was like 4.1 is what it quoted me out. But Tommy said he even seen some stuff down at 3%. So, you know, shop around for those mortgages, guys, or talk to all my lenders. If you guys uh, do not have your own lenders, just send us an email, sales at holdenwise.com, and I'll get you that list. Uh, but anyway, with all that said, even with like the 4% quote I had, the mortgage only comes out to 228 And this is the name of the game, guys, stretching those funds, especially if the interest rates are going to be this low, guys. you got to borrow that money. Why it's low, man. Hit it. Why it's hot. So if you do that, if you borrow that, you only put 15 Gs into the deal. Your net cash flow after mortgage and everything, all those anticipated expenses, fixed expenses, yada, yada, you should be bringing home $97 a month, and your cash-on-cash cash return would be 7.8%, and you still have $45,000 left, you could go ahead and purchase another two or three. We could replicate this. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy-to-use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you will also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. 
Just enter the details of your property and RentTech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. But the deal gets even better, and that's why I salivate over these kind of deals, John. That's why it's so important for you guys to reach out to me and have me do an analysis, have me find these properties for you guys. Here is what this listing agent did that I think the majority of agents are going to do, right? This listing agent, by the way, this is listed by uh, an agent working at a REMAX, right? Everybody knows REMAX, big national firm. This guy is clearly not a uh, investor agent, okay? He's clearly like 99.9% .9 of all other realtors out here in the Cleveland market. When he sees a property like this, you know, he's used to marketing it and dealing with owner occupants, right? The the career trajectory of like a regular real estate agent is they become a licensed agent. They talk to people who want to buy homes that they're going to move into. They sell homes for people who live in them. That is not what we do here at Holton Wise. You know, if you if you ever saw one of my videos and you're like, hey, man, I want to buy a house in uh, a suburb of Cleveland for me and my family. James, will you drive us around? Fuck no, I won't drive you guys around. Are you out of your goddamn mind? That would be miserable. I don't want to talk to you and your wife about uh, your lifestyle and the type of home you want to live in and, like, you know, cool little shit you're gonna do for your kids in the backyard i don't i don't give a fuck right that's not my business that's not what i do i've never done that i hate that i like money i like seeing these properties for what they are for us as investors these are cash flow assets cash flow businesses by the way if you guys like the cash flow hoodie uh click the show notes below use promo code hwtv10 get yourself 10 percent off on jy's um so i see these things as cash flow assets and when I see a listing like this, I salivate because I, I think this guy, he's not seeing it like that. Number one, we got no photos, right? We just have one photo. That's all we have. Number two, he's probably thinking he's just going to schedule showings with regular owner-occupied type buyers. It doesn't really show that well because the tenant's living there. It's just going to be a whole nightmare. So no photos. Showings are going to be a complete nightmare. He's going to try to sell this like he would try to sell a house, you know, a normal house, right? And then the third thing, and this is probably the best, the most important thing, John, the rent, dude, 857 a month. Now, you could buy this right now, do nothing to it, okay? You don't do anything. You put in 15k and it's still you know, it's a good it's a good return, right? You're making 7.8% on your money. You're making 97 a month. But you would ask me if I could find you something that would cash flow even higher. You were hoping to get something that can cash flow around 300 a month. And the cool thing is with this property, it actually can. Okay? Now, 857 a month for a 3-1 in Maple Heights, the BC neighborhood. That's actually way below market. And you were comfortable with section 8. What we can do, I'm not saying we necessarily need to do this the moment you take it over because there's nothing wrong with you just putting in $15,000, all right? Nothing wrong with you putting up $15,000 and collecting 100 bucks and getting a 7.8% return on your money and just, you know, letting it coast, letting that current tenant coast, right? Nothing wrong with that. But the upside here, okay, we put a Section 8 tenant in there. We should be able to get you, now I can't guarantee it right on the head, but $1,176 is the ballpark range I would anticipate we can get Section 8 to pay for this property. Uh, by the way, 
anybody out there, Holton Wise, we do handle property management, full service. We handle Section 8 properties. I know a lot of other PM companies don't like to do that, but we do. If you go to HoltonWise.com, all right, go to HoltonWise.com, go to the property management fact. We have an entire Section 8 fact which explains to you how rental offers are made, how I actually came up with that number, 1,176, and why that number might not be the exact number, but it's a pretty fair ballpark. So, John. If we are able to take your same property here and increase that rent, that rent is one. Uh, that rent would be three hundred and nineteen dollars higher than the current rent right now. If you did that, your cash flow would be four hundred sixteen dollars a month. And using the same numbers before, that'd actually be like a thirty-three percent uh, cash on cash return, right? Which is insane. Now, here's the thing. Your current tenant, I, I don't advocate you just kicking them out. I think, uh, you know, artificial turnover just kills cash flow. And, again, it's cash flowing right now as it sits. So let's take advantage of the situation when we negotiate for the purchase price. But no reason to kick that dude out. But when that, uh, you know, tenant's ready to move out or whatever, you know, when we have a natural tenant, uh, tenant turnover occurring, let's let it happen. And then let's fix the unit up. Now, I don't know how much you're going to have to spend to fix up the unit to get it to qualify for uh, Section 8. I would anticipate you're probably going to spend like five, six, seven thousand dollars $7,000. we got to make it nice, right? Um, they haven't shown us any photos. Um, but, hey, man, if a tenant's living there for a few years, dude, you're repainting everything. We may need to update the kitchens and the baths. They said the mechanicals are great, which is awesome. That's our big ticket items. But they didn't say anything about having an updated kitchen or a bath. So I would assume it's all dated. So assume to bring in that extra extra 319 bucks a month you're going to spend five six seven thousand dollars sprucing this bad boy up but then once you do that man you're in the money you're getting that cash flow that you wanted and the best part is i ran the numbers based on a sixty thousand dollar purchase price with the fact that i think this agent is not an investor agent i think showings are going to be difficult and there is no pictures there's really nothing to go off of here and with the current rent being so low, it's it's a decent investment, but it doesn't like fly off the shelves. I think utilizing all of the knowledge I just gave you, knowing that there's some good stuff at the end, you know, down the road, but it's not necessarily apparent right now today. I think we can go in and I think we can negotiate a lower price. I think we could probably pick this up uh, in the mid 50s, maybe like 54, 55, 56, somewhere in there. Get you like a nice little discount, man. In addition to that, there's one more thing that the listing agent has uh, left completely unsaid, which, again, leads me to believe they're not necessarily familiar um, with these type of rental properties. I would assume that they probably deal in more of the higher-end suburbs when they're dealing with their owner-occupied buyers. Because Maple Heights, this is something the higher-end suburbs, like your A-class suburbs where most everybody that buys homes to live in them, you know, it's all owner-occupied folks, right? And we see housing prices like 150000 and up, you know, $250,000 houses, $300,000 houses. What those neighborhoods don't have is a point of sale, which Maple Heights does, okay? What that means, city, they got to inspect the property, Anytime somebody wants to sell it, they issue violations, and the seller has to, by law, clear those violations before it could sell, or you, the buyer, would need to assume those violations. You have to put some money in escrow. You have X amount of time to fix those up. This listing agent hasn't said anything about the POS. They haven't mentioned it. They probably have not actually ordered it. They Sometimes you get some folks that they're not willing to order it until they get an offer, uh, you know, with a contingency or like they put an offer under contract and it's under contract before they close. Then they'll order it. So what I'd like to see us do, I'd like us to come in, use all the knowledge I gave you that I have that I don't necessarily think the listing agent has, you know, all the things I know about the top end stuff, but the stuff up front that doesn't really look so hot, I want to negotiate hard for you on this one. I want us to try to pick this up around fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six thousand dollars $56,000, and I want to make it contingent on them providing you with a clear point of sale. I think they'll probably agree to that, right? And then I think they'll probably order it, and if the point of sale violations are more than they anticipate, if maybe it's something more than they thought it would be, and maybe they realize, oh, man, I, um, I might not be a professional landlord. You know, I don't think they do this professionally. I'm assuming this is probably a seller that just has like a one or so random rentals. Maybe they used to live here and they became an accidental landlord when the market was totally dry. They couldn't sell it for what they owed. Now they finally can. It could be a situation like that. So they might not really have a lot of familiarity with the point of sale. And the point of sale might come back where the city wants you to do even more work than they thought that they could handle. But now they're under contract with us and... 
there under the gun with the city because the city isn't going to let you just order a POS and then you just don't clear it. Uh, you have to still do those repairs eventually. You can't just say, ah, I changed my mind. City, you know, they, vi they issue those violations. You know, now they're on the clock. So what we could do is if it turns out to be too big, they can't handle them all. They could probably come back to us and be like, ah, you know, we really can't do these. You have Holton Wise able to handle your construction, your maintenance, your repairs after you close. We could probably offer to assume the point of sale because you, with us, have the ability to handle all that and get an even better price. So maybe if it was like $10,000 worth of repairs, maybe we'll say, hey, we'll help you out. You don't have to worry about doing it. Uh, don't worry about those $10,000 repairs. Just give us thirteen or fourteen or $15,000 off to assume that. These are all things that I believe we should be able to work into this deal uh, because I think we have all the negotiation advantages here because, you know, I think we're a lot more familiar on our side, the buying side here, with this type of asset, this type of city, than um, the folks we're going up against. That's just my personal opinion based on what I've picked up from the listing and again, man, that's why I salivate over these types of listings. These are nice little hidden gems, right? If this was already rented for 1176 and they said POS clear and they had like 30 photos, it'd be really hard for us to squeeze out a really good deal because everyone would see how good it really is. These are great deals where we can really add some serious value because they're not being presented in an ideal way or they're not being ran an ideal way right now. So that's where me and you come in and we're able to pick you up a solid rental in a solid neighborhood, man, for like mid-50s, dude. That is a solid deal. So, John, if you want to buy this property, just send my team an email, sales at holtonwise.com. We will write up the offer. We will negotiate the offer. Um, you know, I've given you my advice on the best uh, negotiation strategy, but, again, you'll work directly with my team, and we'll go back and forth with you to present it uh, in the best way that you agree with, and we'll see what we can do for you. Outside of that, if you want, you could actually go directly to the listing agent too. That's not a problem, but I think on this deal, for reasons I just explained, I think you're much better off having my team handle all that because I think we really bring a lot of value uh, to you in this transaction and the eventual negotiations. And that, my friend, is all I've got for you. Everybody else, if you're interested in getting one of these uh, customized analysis just go to HoltonWise.com, click on the Property Search for Sale tab, and then click the MLS Search and Analysis Show. You'll also see another show called the Investment Properties for Sale Show. That is a show where we actually sell rental properties, and you could just bid right off of the show. If you're watching this particular video, this was sent to John in a private link probably about 90 days before you're watching it. So you cannot buy this particular property, but if you're looking to invest in real estate and you don't want to pay to have me find you something specifically for your needs, you just want to browse my inventory, you'll want to check out the Investment Properties for Sale show. That is the show you want. We got video tours, drone footage, everything you need, including an in-depth analysis like this. And in the show notes below, you could actually sign up to our uh, email mailing list. We actually mail that show out to you every single day at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's all I've got for you today. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's going to keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, holding wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Field, author of The Short Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price to rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. 
Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Holton Wise has a worldwide audience of real estate investors. If you are a lender, home inspector, or anyone else with a real estate related business who would like to increase your sales and exposure with an ad in one of our videos, go to holtonwise.com today. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.